Good morning, a beautiful morning. But the tide is high right now, it's getting ready to start going out. Ah, what a great day, I got my live shrimp, I got my float rig, everything's ready. We're ready today, we're all ready to catch a lot of fish. I hope I do. Reports were, people yesterday caught a lot of fish. I'm in a tournament, but the guy yesterday, one of the guys yesterday in the tournament, caught 13 pounds of trout. He had a three pound trout and a bunch of other big trout. I ain't, I've never caught that many in my life, ever. I have never caught 13 pounds of trout in five fish. That's crazy. So, uh, maybe I'm fishing for second place. I don't know. Don't sell yourself short, Chris. You're liable to go out there. I'm liable to not catch anything. You never know, okay? Uh, we got storms probably coming in this afternoon, so I need to get out there. I need to hurry. I need to quit talking, shut my mouth. Get out there and start fishing, man. Let's have a good day down here. We're at Richmond Hill. Uh, Georgia on the Georgia coast. Okay, I think there's a big redfish or something up there. I'll get up here a touch closer. Yeah, there's something up there. I need to throw up very close to that. Close to them weeds. Right. That's what we need is to start off catching some. There you go. Okay. Now, whatever it is, I got him. Feels like a real. Might be a trout though. It is. Good one. Maybe a keeper. I believe it is. Hold on, hold on, my friend. Hold up. Look, he's still got, he's got tentacles sticking out of his mouth. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, he's about 14 and a quarter. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll be culling him. This is not time to be screwing around with stuff like this. Time is of the essence. You know what I mean? It makes this important. I'm wasting it. Still not up here close enough. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Now. This time, let's catch the fish. Look at that, all that. I was looking at that big school of bait coming this way and my float was down. This is a little one. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna work. You're not the size we're looking for, sir. Man. I had a shot at three good ones. That gone and only caught one. Chris, you gotta do better. But not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. I don't know. He might keep. It's in the, it's in the neighborhood. He's kind of skinny and long. 
I think he will keep. Oh yeah. Almost 15. heavy fish very heavy please be a trout oh lord it's a heavy fish get my net for this one <clears throat> oh oh there guys that was a big fish i mean for real big dang it okay let's get a grip here chris okay here we go let's get back out there dang oh that broke my heart now for real man i can't believe my line broke but it did That's a little one. Dang it. So that's why my line was probably frayed. These guys. Bluefish will tear your line up for real. Alright, that's three casts in a row with no bite. That's why I was saying that time is of the essence. While they're there, you gotta catch them. Because they they might move or they might stop biting. Oh. Might be able to oh, we got another trout. a couple of things with you about your lifestyle choices here we go that's another one almost 15 keep now I need some big fish Yeah, my boat was in the shop there for about a week. So I couldn't fish then. And then we had Amy's graduation. And then I was up in Cedar Town for a few days. Oh. I just hadn't been able to fish. I hadn't fished at all. Because I can't even rem remember the last time I fished on the salt water. I guess it was when, I don't know. I mean, it's been at least two or three weeks. What's going on here? They got me. They got me. Man, it's been a while. For real. A while. Ah, they went. Little trout. I'm trying to turn you loose. I really am. I swear I'm trying to get you back in the water. You would cooperate in any kind of way at all. Okay, all right, see what you want. Just lay down the floor, pitch your feet. I'll ignore you. Two year old toddler. Trout. Are you kidding me? Oh. Man, 
he was way more trouble than he was worth. Yeah, oh yeah, yes. Something good. Come on, stay on there, please. This time, stay on. Saw that one, it was a good one. Chris, what is wrong with you? Again. I don't know why that one came loose. He just came loose. going on right now and then this tide's going to quit when it quits it's going to be dead and the water will probably get muddy which is not good what I got here is a good fish whatever it is No? Oh no, it's a bit it of red. Yeah, it's a red fish. Oh no, it is not. It's a trout. No, it's a red. I don't know what I got. I got a red fish. Okay. Not a killer, but it'll do for me today. For right now. He's got two spots, which is not all that great. If you catch one with a whole lot of spots, you can win money in the tournament. Or if you catch the biggest one, and I know that's not the biggest one. I know somebody's caught one that's 23 inches least uh -oh. little sharky little sharky avoid the shark today. Too many of them out and about. Got another shark here. Maybe. It's acting a little weird. Okay. 
these have to be 12. 15. Y'all, this will probably be my last hurrah spot right here. Because I've been to five or you know four or five spots. I did catch that flounder and that redfish, which was good. I needed to catch them. But I have not been to a spot yet that had bait like this place here did this morning. This bank had bait all up and down this bank. So I'm not a smart man, but I know what bait means. So uh long time no see guys. Probably not a keeper. Probably not. Another little one. Well, guys, you can see by the skies it's getting dark. I'm out of shrimp. You would think after I caught three keepers and had two nice big trout get off in the first 20 minutes that I would have caught a limit, but I didn't. I, the whole rest of the day, couldn't catch two more keeper trout. Crazy, it's crazy. But uh, I ain't gonna win first. And I know I ain't gonna win first. I ain't first class, but I ain't white trash. I got three fish to weigh in. <laughs> at least, at least I get to go to the weigh in. That's up. Thanks for watching, guys.